all right guys welcome back to the channel so as you guys know assassin's creed is one of the biggest franchises in the history of gaming and it's definitely ubisoft's biggest ip right now while the series has been a bit all over the place in terms of size and quality it's maintained a huge community throughout the decades and is likely never going to fully disappear in fact ubisoft has some massive plans for the series over the next few years and it's all going to start with assassin's creed mirage this game of course originally leaked as project rift and it's going to be the next big assassin's creed release on the schedule and in this video i'll be going over some new game play details release date speculation and how mirage is going to play into ubisoft's plan for the next few years because if you haven't heard the company is in some pretty deep trouble as of right now so let me know if you're excited for the next assassin's creed game make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on for more update videos like this one and let's get into it i'd like to set the stage by filling you in on what's been going on with ubisoft according to recent reports ubisoft has had a very rough last few years and in addition to pushing back skull and bones once again they've had to cancel another three unannounced projects this means that the last 12 months the publisher has scrapped seven games and now reports are claiming that they're going to have to cut 200 million dollars in their operating costs this year in order to stay on track for a comeback ubisoft has kind of been falling apart due to the lack of quality releases and a number of public controversies regarding loot boxes and pay to win microtransactions in a number of their games they essentially have the decision to either change their ways or they're going to be in a really bad spot and one of the ways that they plan to do that is with the revival of the assassin's creed franchise assassin's creed as a franchise has been all over the place starting out as a pretty straightforward stealth action game before getting more elaborate maps movement systems combat and eventually making a giant transition to open world rpg it's been a long time since the last truly old school assassin's creed game and a lot of fans have been actually been pushed away by the last five to six years basically just solidifying the franchise as an rpg instead of a stealth adventure ubisoft is looking to satisfy both old fans and new in the future with a long list of projects that are currently in development assassin's creed mirage is the next game in the release schedule and is going to be set in baghdad during the Islamic Golden Age and follow a character introduced in AC Valhalla named Basim. We've also gotten confirmation of Assassin's Creed codenamed Red, which is set to be in ancient Japan and was described by a team as a powerful shinobi fantasy. We of course also know about Assassin's Creed codenamed Jade, which is going to be set in ancient China and will be exclusive to mobile devices that was actually recently leaked not too long ago. There was also a code named Hex, which is rumored to be taking place in Central Europe during the 16th century and focus on witch hunts and paranormal stories and then to tie everything together allegedly will be assassin's creed infinity an ever expanding live service game that will link past and present ac games together with a unique narrative while also serving as an ongoing revenue generator for ubisoft that they can adjust with the times to ensure assassin's creed content never runs dry between major releases today's video is sponsored by gemstone legends an epic rpg match three game where you'll have many adventures and tactical battles ahead of you this is a game made by and for rpg enthusiasts and they did a great job combining many genres into one game it's rated a whopping 4.6 stars on android and almost 5 on ios download and try the game for free using the link in the description or qr code and receive an amazing starter pack gemstone features the puzzle style element but they've also got the hero collectors with more than 200 heroes from eight different factions and from five different tiers common uncommon rare epic and legendary moreover every hero has a unique set of skills which could be a game changer for strategy for each battle during the puzzle battles use epic combo attacks and your tactical sense solve match three puzzles and beat powerful monsters to build your empires and you've got dragons who doesn't like dragons you can even bring your own personal dragon ally to the battle which is such a great addition gather clans of heroes and start an epic puzzle adventure in a high fantasy rpg open world test your skills in pvp mode and align with other dragon riders to compete in guild wars also don't forget to join their discord channel to stay up to date fight with your teammates against different bosses and win more rewards there are also daily weekly and monthly missions and so much more content that is set to be coming out for this exciting game you can find me in game under the nickname Wes Nemo download the game now for free on both Android and iOS and come join me use my link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen right here and get a special starter pack worth $50 using my link it includes 500,000 coins 300 gems 10 mana elixirs 10 healing elixirs and a four-star hero Anarchy. good luck and I'll see you there on top of that there are a couple of other games that aren't confirmed just yet but seem to be in development such as a remake or remaster of the original assassin's creed game as well as some kind of assassin's creed vr game which actually had some new details leaked a couple of months ago so it seems like one is still coming although it's unclear why ubisoft hasn't officially announced it since some industry insiders have been
been claiming that it's almost finished. So taking all of that into account, it's safe to say that Ubisoft is putting a lot of stock into the Assassin's Creed franchise, and they're likely betting on it to be their ticket back to the top of the charts following a couple of really bad years. According to a number of inside sources and Ubisoft themselves, Assassin's Creed Mirage is going to feature a return to classic Assassin's Creed gameplay. It's not going to be quite as small scale or linear as the classic games, but there will be a return to stealth gameplay, parkour based movement, which is a good thing, and assassination based missions. That's right, yes, Ubisoft is finally listening and Assassin's Creed is going to be about assassinating people again. It's also believed that the game started development as a DLC for Valhalla, so most of the gameplay skeleton will feel similar to Valhalla players, but the actual gameplay loop and level design is going to be closer to the early Assassin's Creed games, which honestly is the part that I'm super excited about. The conflict is also going to center around the Assassins and Templars, which is something I didn't think I'd be able to say again about an AC game. There are also likely going to be some RPG elements still present in the gameplay, but won't be the main focus by any means. Black Box assassination missions are also going to be returning from Assassin's Creed Unity and Syndicate, which will be a nice blast from the past and a cool way to incorporate older stealth mechanics into a modern AC game. One of the biggest problems that I've had with Assassin's Creed recently, and I know I'm not alone on this one, is the sheer size. While Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla were really solid games that had a ton of fans, they were freaking massive, and they're a far cry from the scale that this franchise used to have. Initially, Assassin's Creed was a rather small scale game, and that really helped amp up the tension when you walked through crowded areas looking for a specific target. The lack of them being an open world RPG also meant that enemies didn't have levels attached to them and the story could carry on at a fixed rate. Again, I'm not saying the RPG Assassin's Creed games are bad, but they're extremely different from the classic stealth titles that many of us fell in love with. And if Ubisoft really wants to reignite the hype that this franchise used to generate, I think the first step needs to be making everything smaller again. So hopefully this move back to assassination based gameplay will get us back on track. I'm totally open to the returning of open world RPGs in the future, but right now, I think it's in the series best interest to get back to the basics and remind everyone why we started caring about these games in the first place. So when can we expect to see this game in action? Well, we got a brief trailer from Ubisoft last year, but no official release date or gameplay. Many people think the game is going to launch in 2023, and that would make sense given how Ubisoft was seemingly pushing that this one was coming out pretty soon, and they tend to only give us about a year after the first cinematic trailer for us to all get hyped about a new Assassin's Creed game. Plus, with the internal drama going on over at Ubisoft HQ, I think they're eager to get a new mainline Assassin's Creed game into people's hands as soon as they could possibly do it to make up for that $200 million budget cuts that they've approved. That being said, I'm guessing gameplay will be revealed at E3 coming up in June during a Ubisoft Direct, or as they call it, the Ubisoft Forward, which at this rate is currently unannounced, but I'm sure that they're going to do it again. Nowadays, most of the big publishers like to do their own showcases, and since almost all of the major gaming corps are expected to have showcases within the first quarter of 2023, I wouldn't be surprised if Ubisoft does their own showcase as well. Although it may not be until later in the year after all of the controversy surrounding their budget has died down. I am personally expecting the game to launch in August or September, as Assassin's Creed games are usually launched in the fall or early winter. But like I said, Ubisoft probably wants this one to come out as soon as possible. So if I had to put money on it, I would expect to see some kind of gameplay reveal sometime before the end of E3 and then possibly launch later in the year. Most likely in August or September, but possibly October at the absolute latest. I personally don't see this game coming out in November or December though, since that's probably a little bit too late in the year for Ubisoft's liking, especially if they're planning on launching Avatar Frontiers of Pandora in the Hall holiday season. It may also have something to do with other major games for 2023 like Spider-Man 2, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and the currently unannounced release date for Starfield, which will all likely take a bite out of Ubisoft's potential sales if the games launch too close together. But ultimately, I would expect to see some gameplay of Assassin's Creed Mirage by the end of June and then get a launch by the end of October, but more than likely it will be either August or September. Ubisoft needs a major win right now, and if Assassin's Creed isn't it, they may be in some huge trouble. I'm personally really excited for the series to go back to the basics and let us start actually assassinating people again, but hopefully it's not too little too late. A lot of old school fans have already given up on the series and Ubisoft's reputation isn't really calling for people to come back and give them another try. I'm cautiously optimistic for this game though, since Ubisoft knows that they have to bring their A game going forward. And if a return to form stealth game goes well, I think it could send a very helpful message to the Ubisoft higher ups about what we actually want from them. We don't want everything to be an open world grind fest. We want good games with good stories. Stories. But yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up with this video. Thanks again to Gemstone Legends for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description. Download the game right now and add me as a friend, Wes Nemo. Also, don't forget to enter the PS5 giveaway for 100,000 subscribers. Thank you all for watching. This has been Wes, and I'll talk to you all on the next video.